Now, after the floods deluge, parts of eastern Kentucky rescue operations are now being hampered by worsening weather conditions and damaged infrastructure. The death toll in the state of Kentucky has risen to 28. The governor has warned that this figure is likely to climb further going forward. Governor Andy Bashir also highlighted that authorities were now undertaking door-to-door -door search operations, but some areas in the mountainous region were still inaccessible, as flooding had washed out roads and bridges in this region. But we have infrastructure uh, that's making it tough to reach people and to take care of people. Especially in eastern Kentucky, roads and bridges are a lifeline, and we have dozens of bridges that are out that make it hard to get to people, make it hard to supply people. And then water, entire water systems down that we are working to get up. Now, the governor also confirmed that the flooding has left almost 23,000 households without power. The state has activated the National Guard and the state police to use helicopters and boats to rescue maroon people. And evacuation centers were opened in state parks and other facilities. But availability of fresh water and amenities is low and trucks have now been engaged to bring drinking water to the area. Meanwhile, continued rain in the area has severely hampered search and rescue operations. Like I mentioned, some areas in eastern Kentucky had reported receiving more than 20 centimeters of rain in a 24-hour period. And National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center has now warned of the potential flash flooding in eight counties of the state with fresh showers expected in the area on Monday. President Joe Biden has issued a disaster declaration for the Kentucky flooding now allowing federal aid to supplement state and local recovery efforts. The eastern Kentucky flooding is the latest in a series of extreme weather events that scientists say are an unmistakable sign of climate change. The latest floods are the second major national disaster to strike Kentucky in seven months, following a swarm of tornadoes that claimed nearly 80 lives in the western part of the state back in December. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.